increase the effectiveness and our performance in everything. And by everything, I mean sleep, I mean physical performance, I mean mental performance, I mean less anxiety, all the things. So today we're going to talk about how you can optimize their ratios depending on your particular life goals. Because the ratio of estrogen and testosterone in every individual has profound influence on feelings of well-being, feelings of optimism, feelings of anxiety or lack of anxiety, on reproduction, on sexual behavior independent of reproduction. There is a scientifically proven way to increase testosterone and estrogen levels in our bodies. The levels of these hormones in the body increase or decrease the effectiveness of our performance in everything we do. It's essential to learn how to optimize the ratios of these hormones because they play a vital role when it comes to achieving goals. Sufficient testosterone and estrogen levels are critically important for the proper functioning of the brain. Scientific research reveals that estrogen is one of the main hormones that maintain brain longevity and its ability to think. Both men and women need testosterone and estrogen to feel good and to think. Therefore, you need to make sure that your testosterone or estrogen levels are not too low because it can be devastating for you. But how do we ensure that these levels aren't too low? In varying ratios, but in both men and women and in kids, they are manufactured from cholesterol. We hear about cholesterol as this terrible thing, but they are actually made from cholesterol. And so if you don't get sufficient levels of cholesterol, that can be problematic for your hormones and that can be problematic for your brain and your body health. Most of us have heard of the dangers of high cholesterol levels like heart problems and high blood pressure. However, cholesterol helps produce steroid sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen. Low cholesterol levels affect your ability to produce the two essential sex hormones. Cholesterol is made in the liver. Every human body produces a certain amount of hormones. Cholesterol circulates in the blood and is a part of every cell in the human body. Besides testosterone and estrogen, it helps produce fat, dissolving bile acids. Instead of fighting to eliminate cholesterol from your diet, you should find ways to increase it to a moderate level in the body. Many people don't know that there are two types of cholesterol low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, which is responsible for the harmful effects of cholesterol that people often talk about, and high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, which is helpful to the body and protects against heart problems. One excellent source of cholesterol is butter, and it provides the body with a sufficient amount of healthy cholesterol. You should consider adding pats of butter to your diet. Moderation is necessary, and you should also check your cholesterol levels after some time. The cholesterol levels in butter are excellent and would help you to produce sex steroid hormones. Also, butter has other fatty acids that add metabolism. And you can check out other reasons to have more butter in your diet after watching this video. But are there ways to boost testosterone levels? Well, one of the things you do, one of the things you do in behavior therapy constantly is you help people calibrate the zone of proximal development. That is not to say that people with low testosterone will always fail those with higher testosterone. There's a slow system associated with achieving wins, even small wins. And that slow system is in the form of hormonal control that then translates to gene control. So two hormones in particular, testosterone and estrogen, um, which are present in both men and women, males and females. And many of the things that we've discussed up until now, morning sunlight. Winning brings a sense of satisfaction that we can't imagine. It makes us confident and provides a feeling that makes us feel good about ourselves. While we may think that this psychological feeling exists in our heads, neuroscience has proven that there is a physical effect of winning. One of the fastest ways to increase testosterone levels in a person is to have them accomplish a win. The euphoric feeling of winning takes a person's testosterone and estrogen levels higher. On the other hand, Repeated failures lower testosterone levels. We have to seek optimal testosterone levels for ourselves. Since the benefits of optimal testosterone and estrogen levels are enormous, we must find ways to increase them to a level that benefits us the most. Exercise, fasting, those can support testosterone and estrogen in meaningful and positive ways. I get a lot of questions about hormone optimization. We did an entire month on this topic. Although we have discussed many things to boost testosterone and estrogen levels earlier, we should discuss other ways to boost steroid hormones more easily. Morning exercise and fasting can support testosterone and estrogen meaningfully and positively. Optimizing hormones is a concept that is the center of attraction for neuroscientists. A positive mental attitude is one of the ways to boost testosterone levels. Interestingly, there are certain things you need to know about testosterone and estrogen. First, 
Testosterone can wield many functions only in the unbound form. Free testosterone. Our bodies make a specific binding protein known as sex hormone binding globulin that binds up testosterone, which prevents its freedom. Although this statement may sound bad, that's not the case. Binding up testosterone allows it to be transported to various tissues in the body, including the brain. The brain is where the most effective testosterone is felt. For those with less than ideal amounts of the hormone or too much SHBG, research shows that an intake of 400 milligrams daily of something called Tonkat Ali helps them reach optimal testosterone levels. Tonkat Ali is a form of ginseng proven to increase free testosterone levels. Many people experience positive subjective effects and well-meaning increases in free testosterone after blood analysis. There is only a little research on this, and it's best to approach the information with caution. It would help if you spoke to your doctor before purchasing Tonkat Ali. The second compound appropriate for people who want to optimize testosterone and estrogen levels is Fidogia agrestis. It's an herb that can boost the levels of a hormone called luteinizing hormone, which is released from the brain and travels to the gonads, either in the ovaries in the case of females or testes in the males to stimulate the release of estrogen and testosterone. Fidogia agrestes has shown a remarkable increase in levels of LH and ultimately testosterone and estrogen levels in ways people find beneficial in a limited number of studies. A key aspect to the midday meal, if you want that meal to benefit you, is to take a brief walk afterwards. It turns out that brief walks of five to 30 minutes after ingesting food can accelerate metabolism and actually can accelerate and improve nutrient utilization, which is essentially the same as metabolism. But nonetheless, that's something that I do after I finish my noon meal. I do force myself to stand up and go outside and take a brief walk. That also gets me again into optic flow. Although many people don't know this, we will let you in on a secret to enhance your testosterone levels. A vital aspect of the midday meal, if you want the meal to benefit you, is to take a short walk afterward. Scientific evidence proves that short walks after eating a meal can enhance metabolism and accelerate as well as improve nutrient utilization, which is as important as metabolism. Taking a short walk gives your brain more information about the time of day. Also, it's beneficial for metabolism and nutrient utilization and benefits all the organs and tissues in the body. What are your thoughts on these two supplements? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Until then, take care.